This is Twit. Following up on last week's news about about the uh, the sensor vault at Google and the news that, as far as the reporting indicated, un- unless otherwise instructed, um, they've been retaining all of the detailed, highly accurate location information for, for basically just hoovering it, to use the verb. Uh, like everybody that uses their stuff anywhere for all time has just been gone into some massive server farm somewhere so that uh, for purposes we don't, we're not really clear about. But as we discussed and as they – the the reporting on this discovered they were honoring so-called geofencing warrants which were causing them to turn over uh, successively more personal and accurate location information on people be- who were believed to be instrumental either as perps or as witnesses uh, to crimes for law enforcement so what just ha- dropped from the Google blog was the news that they're going to give people some choice. And they said in their blog, whether you're looking for the latest news or the quickest driving route, we aim to make our products helpful to everyone. And when you turn on settings like look, okay, to their on by default, right? When you turn on settings like location history or web and app activity, again, on by default, The data can make Google products more useful for you, like recommending a restaurant that you might enjoy or helping you pick up where you left off on a previous search. We work, they wrote, to keep your data private and secure. And we've heard your feedback that we need to provide simpler ways for you to manage or delete it. Well, they certainly heard Congress's feedback. Um, They said, You can already use your Google account to access simple on-off controls for location history and web and app activity. And and as I'll describe in a minute, it's actually on or pause. (laughs) They don't actually do off. They just do pause because they're optimistic that you're going to come back at some point. They said, and if you choose to delete all or part of that data manually. In addition to these options, we're announcing auto-delete controls that make it even easier to manage your data. Here's how they'll work. Then they said, and I have a picture of the, the apparently this is not yet available. They haven't, don't have, don't, haven't, as far as I know, produced a date certain yet, but we have seen what it's going to look like. Um and, and yeah, so Leo has it on, on the screen. We have the first, the first option is keep until I delete manually. Second option, keep for 18 months, then delete automatically, or keep for three months, then delete automatically. So they said, choose a time limit for how long you want your activity data to be saved, three or 18 months. And any data older than that will be automatically deleted from your account on an ongoing basis. These controls are coming first to location his, location history and web and app activity and will roll out in the coming weeks. You should always be able to manage your data in a way that works best for you. And we're committed to giving you the best controls to make that happen. So, that's that's their statement. I think that setting a three month auto storage expiration policy is probably a nice compromise for users of Google services who still desire the promise of location based enhancement of their online experience without the the creep factor of everywhere they have ever been for the last ten plus years being silently logged, retained, and searchable in a sensor vault database somewhere. Um, And for users who are sure that they want no retention right now, it can be paused, as I mentioned, as Google insists upon phrasing it, 
and then scrubbed through a manual process. Um, when While signed into Google, you click your profile picture, then you click on the Google account button that, your pro, that clicking on your profile picture reveals. In the left-hand column, there's data and personalization category. And when, when, you, so when you select that, you'll find web and app activity and location history. You select each of those in turn, then flip the toggle to pause, uh, and then confirm with Google that that's what you really intend. And then in that confirmation dialog, under web and activity, it explains pausing this setting doesn't delete any of your past data. You can see or delete your data and more at myactivity.google.com. And there's a link there in that dialog. And similarly, from the, lo from the confirmation dialog that comes up when you pause location history, it explains pausing this setting doesn't delete any of your past data. You can see or delete your data and more, in this case, at maps.google.com slash timeline. And again, they provide that as a link. So, you know, I'm not really much of an uber privacy nut, Leo. I feel sort of like you do, that, well, this, <laughs> this battle has been kind of lost. Uh, and many of our listeners were unhappy recently want to hear my capitulation on that <laughs> front. Um, but I have to say that going over to myactivity.google.com and scrolling back through days of stuff I've done nominally in private. I mean, not like I was really worried about it, but, you know, I mean, I was like I was by myself with no one obviously looking over my shoulder. Um you, when you scroll back through that, it's a little sobering, uh, you know, knowing that all that's being archived somewhere for God knows what purpose. You know, it it's a little bit creepy. So for what it's worth, it you know, it's uh, if anyone's interested, go you know, while you're logged in to Google, go to myactivity.google.com. I, I, I remember doing it before and kind of thinking, whoa. And, you know, it's like – it can be handy, I have to say, if I if I remembered that that was that I was being watched that closely. There have been times where it's like, okay, what was that? What was that I was searching for the other day? Well, Google has it all there. They've they've sucked it all up, and, and they're keeping it. So anyway, uh, uh, it's nice that Google is responding. And I and really, I think a year and a half or three months, those are probably two good choices. Um, and It'd be interesting to see. I'm sure Google will be watching with interest as the news of this gets around what percentage of their users choose which uh, or neither of those options. Um, I'd love to know what the demographics are. Like, do like you know, the, there is sort of this tease of like, oh, well, maybe I am getting value from this. So do I want to do I really want to turn it off? I'm kind of in that camp, although I certainly respect that people are like, no, I don't want to be followed or tracked at all. So the good news is uh, you can certainly delete that and also have Google doing it on an ongoing basis. And so I suppose when they show up to uh, to uh, fulfill their uh, their request of for Congress to uh, get an update on this, they'll be able to say, well, yes, you know, we're, we're now offering these features. <laughs> 